Hi everyone, my name is Angie and I decided to do this YouTube channel. I guess for me it's more therapeutic and for you it's going to be more informational. Um, before, well, I think this first video I'm going to just keep it very simple and short just so you kind of get to know who I am. Um, I'm a mother of four, recently lost my oldest, Landon Johnson, to um, a fentanyl overdose. March 25th, 2019, at the age of 20. Um, he was in sobriety for almost a year, and um, the courts kind of messed things up for him and put him in a downward spiral, and he started doing it again. And a week later, he was found. So, as hard as it is for me, I think we need to start erasing that stigma with people having some sort of drug issue or overdoses. He's my oldest, Landon at 20, then his brother, Brecken, 17, and then their little sisters, Ella, who's six, and Savannah, who's three. Landon was the kid who, his whole life was baseball. <laughs> and um, went off to college and, you know, started doing some things he should have never got into. Their father passed away. Well, should I say the boys I've had from a previous relationship. Their father, I buried him 12 years ago from an overdose, a heroin overdose, and never in my wildest dreams thought I would be burying our son next to him from an overdose. So I want to be that voice for those who lost their battle and can't speak for themselves anymore and I feel a lot of things need to change a lot of this problem to stem back from the pharmaceutical companies just passing Oxycontin and all kinds of crazy things just getting away with it and here we are thousands and thousands and thousands of people overdosing and families being affected by this and it's a it's a journey you never should I say it's a journey that doesn't get easier but becomes acceptable later and if people didn't have such a stigma on this stuff so many other people would be getting the help they need and I learned a lot through this journey with my son and I just don't want another family to go through what I've gone through and I think it's crucial that the information gets poured out there and people just start holding each other and start being a voice and not set back because they're afraid of the stigma or they're, they're afraid to even speak up because they're afraid of the stigma that surrounds drugs and overdoses. Um, I'm going to do a short video a little bit so you guys can all get to know who my son is, but in the meantime, um, we have, this is my son, Landon, with his little brother, and right here is all four of my kids, Landon, as you see, and their little sister and brothers, and um, I hope one day that my videos reach the right people and things start happening, changes start being made, um, companies start being held accountable, even all the way to the government system. People need to start taking accountability for their actions and the lack of actions. Um, it's been one heck of a ride for me and it's been at times extremely unbearable and to be a mom who's grieving but still having to wake up every morning because you have three other ones and you have a job and you have bills. Life gets become, life becomes too much at times. I live in a whole nother state where my son was buried because we buried him back home in St. Louis. And I'm hoping soon we'll be able to move back home so I can be closer to him. He was such a great kid. He wasn't, he was just like the average kid. Nothing had had goals and strives and determination and motivation and 
he was my backbone. He always loved me, loved on me and told me he loved me if he saw me sad. He always told me, it's okay, mom. Nothing's permanent. Everything's temporary. And the one thing I used to say to him, I just, he, I don't know why he hated it, but I would always sit there and say, the world is your oyster. And I was hoping one day he would really take in what I was saying when I would say that. But in the meantime, I just want you to kind of know me. I'm married um, with my husband, Nathan. He's a fireman. I am, I work for, or I'm not going to say my job, but I work in a, a nonprofit. And um, we have four kids, because I'll always say I have four kids. I'll never say three, because I, I have four. I gave birth to four. No matter how far he is from me, I still have four. And um, I just struggle each day, and I think sometimes getting the word out there and expressing yourself, maybe in video, who knows if anyone will ever see this or care to see this. But I am mean, going to do this weekly. I feel like it's going to be therapeutic for me. And I have... I feel like uh, so much research I have done could be so valuable to those of you who are beginning to go through what I've gone through or are going through or have been or are clueless, never been through it. Hopefully this will reach so many of you to start seeing things differently and looking at the stigma of people who have a drug addiction differently. Um, my son was an amazing person. He was my daughter's um, everything. Um, he had a good relationship with all of us. And because someone decided they didn't really care too much about people's lives, I buried him. It's something a parent will never get over. I miss him. And I don't want to see another family go through what we've gone through, the struggles we've gone through, the heartbreak, the, the anger, the emotions, the, the everything. And I hope you all stand by me. Thank you for now, and I will check back in. Thanks for listening and watching my video. Till then, hopefully next video will be a little better.